So it's Sunday uh, afternoon. I went to the grocery store yesterday and I got a piece of swordfish. I've been wanting to cook a piece of swordfish for a while. I hadn't really... The last time I cooked a piece of swordfish is probably... Eight, four or five years ago maybe? So what I have here is my piece of fish. What I'm going to do... It doesn't need salt because it's a saltwater fish. That's a big steak. I didn't realize how big that steak was. It seems smaller, but okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper, a little bit of oregano, put it on the, uh, it's about an inch. So this may take about, I think I may do four minutes on either side. So that way it can actually, I don't wanna, I want it more well done than medium, medium well. I, I, with a fish, I'm, it's not like a steak. I, I like to cook it that way. Maybe it's the wrong way, but I, I like a little more cook on it. So, a little more cook on it. <laughs> a little more well done than medium. So, let me go ahead and start that. Cooking with electric sucks. It's always, you have to dial it in and different pieces of meat and different things go different ways. So, according to this little clock, it's 412. I'm gonna give it about three minutes on either side and then probably another minute on either side just to make sure it's cooked right. I like the flavor of a swordfish. It's, I hate to say it's like, it's like chicken, but it does have that property. It cooks like a steak. It eats sort of like a steak. It's like a, it's like if you mixed a steak and a chicken. The consistency of the steak, the flavor of the chicken, but it also has that saltiness because it's a fish. It's a deep water fish. These fish live way out in the ocean and don't really ever come in. They're always out there. I don't know. They're, they're, this, by the size of this steak, this fish, by the size of this steak, this is easily 120, 140 pound fish. Maybe around my height, I'm around 6'1". It's probably about, it, it may be a little bit longer because of the bill. The bill actually is this. Instead of going, that's, that's more of a horn, this is a bill. With this, it's trans, it's, it's almost translucent, the meat, but when you start cooking it, it becomes opaque. That's, this is the color you're going for right here. You can get around this color in the middle because this also came with a thick piece of skin on it. So once it's cooked, the skin should just pop right off. You see how the skin is kind of kind of hard to. Uh, you can separate it, but you have to do it when it's cooked. That means what will happen is I can just push down, and the skin will just the skin will just pop right off without a problem. So now another few minutes. An interesting thing about cooking this fish, now that it's really getting going, it smells like the ocean in here. That's funny. I never noticed that before. This regular spatula is really good for flipping. But when you want to check the consistency of the meat and how it works, or how it how it's cooking, a fork or a knife, like a butter knife, you should should just be able to penetrate the flesh pretty easily. Ooh, this texture is pretty. See how it's brown right here? I want a little more brown right here, but in about 30 seconds I'm going to flip it and we'll take a look at the, how the skin is doing on the other side. I don't want to get more brown right here. Anyway, so what we're looking for, I keep saying weird like there's a bunch of, it's just, this is all for me. This guy, Ooh, yeah, it's getting close. I can penetrate, I can't penetrate it all the way through, but I can get the fork in there a pretty decent way. So let's go ahead and do this. Press it down really hard on this heat. I don't want that brown. That little, that little, uh, not a, it's, it looks like a caramel thing, but it's obviously not, but that brownish color, 
guys. And like a steak, once this is done, I'm gonna put it on the plate over here and let it sit for about, eh, probably about six, eight minutes, something like that. So let the let the meat calm down and let the juices come back in. You don't want, you pay a couple bucks for this, you don't want dry swordfish. It's not good. It's, it's like dry chicken. It gets stuck right here and you're almost freaking out because you're gonna choke on it. You have to drink something. But chicken's a lot cheaper than swordfish. So give this uh, about 30 seconds. I'm gonna flip it. Give it about a minute and a half on the other side and then you should be good. The fork goes in with no effort. The meat, you can feel it's just on the edge of not being tender anymore, which is what you want. What 